Hello, Doomers and other Indiana Jones fans. Today, new video for you. Kind of a follow-up to my last video about the Temple of Doom fedora. First, I wanted to say uh, I was overwhelmed by the reception that video got. I got a lot of comments and uh, personal messages from people saying, thank you, I feel the exact same way you do. Big fan of the Temple of Doom hat as well and feel like it doesn't get as much respect in the community as the Raiders hat or even sometimes the Crusade hat. I hope I made my case for the Temple of Doom fedora in that video. Also wanted to say that one commenter left a comment which I got as an email and they then deleted the comment before I guess it could be seen but this commenter who shall remain uh, anonymous since they didn't want they decided they didn't want their comment on there after all said that he had spoken to Steve Delk about the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull hat and that Steve said that it was Harrison Ford that preferred the soft pinch. So it was a comment that was deleted and it is reporting what somebody else said so it is hearsay but I'm going to take my theory about the hat from just pure speculation into could be a possibility. Okay so on to today's subject. Last weekend was WonderCon. It's uh, one of my favorite conventions here in Southern California. It's one I, I try to never miss. It's huge. It's put on by the same folks who do San Diego Comic-Con, except it's just a little less out of control. It's down in Anaheim. And every year we have an Indiana Jones meetup of some sort. This year the meetup was organized by Daniel Reiser, you know, Reiser Indy, who is I think the titular head of California Jones right now. I, I'm not really sure what, what's going on with that group at the moment. The meetup was Saturday and unusually for here in Southern California, it was pouring down rain all weekend. So I decided to wear my screen capped hat because that hat is beaver, it's not rabbit felt. So I was hoping it would be a little more water resistant. I tried my best to stay out of the rain, but the parking situation at the Anaheim Convention Center is never good. And I ended up having to park about a half mile away I had my daughter with me in our wagon, I was pulling her along, I didn't have an umbrella, and I thought to myself, well, should I, you know, put my uh, hat somewhere where it could stay dry? And then I was like, well, what would Indy do? Indy would wear his hat in the rain. I mean, we've seen it happen in a couple movies, Temple of Doom, Last Crusade, he, he gets wet and he wears his hat. So it rained and rained and rained and by the time I got to the convention center I was a wet cat. So my hat got wet and I tried to like dry it off a little bit once I got inside and you know sponge out some of the, the moisture from it. But gradually as the day went on and I started like doing this and, and, and things you see that the hat has developed a taper and the pinch here in the front has gotten tighter. Kind of like the hats in Temple of Doom in the latter part of the production when they had already been through a lot of the stunts and the water and the raft and, and, the, and everything else. Now this hat, which before was a little fuller, I, I believe when I ordered it from Screencapped I had asked for a, a bridge scene type of hat. And you can see in these earlier pictures, the hat was more, it was fuller on top, like an earlier, like a Sri Lanka type of hat. And now that it's actually gotten wet, we see it's already started developing some of the characteristics of the hat in some of the other scenes of the film. So more like the plane scene or in the mines, the studio stuff, basically the stuff that was filmed in England. So yeah, although this hat is beaver and it just goes to show like, yeah, the hat gets wet. People grab it like this. It starts tapering. Um, it gets a little tight here in the front. The brim gets a little bit distorted. It was all really interesting to see it happen over the course of the weekend. Now, what can be done about this? I'm sure some of my hat maker friends would tell me I could probably reblock or re, you know, use some steam and, and redo the pinch and the bash. But I thought 
since I have the Herbert Johnson in the bridge scene style, and I have the Advantage uh, also in a similar type of configuration, that I thought I would let my screen cap kind of be my more weathered hat. The hat that would better represent some of those other scenes of the film. So I think for now what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this one like this and just see what happens as as time and, and weather takes its effect on this hat and and see what I get in the end. And the meetup itself was great. We had a gigantic turnout. The California Jones folks did a great job of organizing it and getting the word out. And some of my favorite indie cosplayers were there. And um, yeah, we had a great time. So that's all, just a quick little video demonstrating what happens to a Indiana Jones fedora when it gets wet and how it can look more like one of the fedoras from the movie. I'd love to hear in the comments below what kind of experiences you had with your own hats, whether it's been weathering them or letting natural rain and weather and snow affect them in some way. Lots more Temple of Doom videos coming this year. It is the 40th anniversary of Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom and I have a whole slate of ideas for my uh, YouTube channel. So I, I want to again thank all the people that subscribe. My subscriber numbers went up a whole lot after the last video. I loved reading all the comments and I wish you all much fortune and glory. <laughs>